previous emergencies, it was either apparent, like 9-11, it was a, a disease or some other immediate disaster hitting, and there was a long explanation as to why. We have gotten no explanation as to why this is an emergency. The second reason, of course, is the money that might be taken away from the military, our brave men and women in uniform, not getting the dollars they needed for this wall. And the third, of course, is that the President couldn't get his way through Congress, even when we had two years of Republican leadership in the House, Senate, and White House, couldn't get his way this time, and is now simply going around Congress to declare an emergency. But those reasons pale before the most important reason. This is a momentous day. The balance of power that the Founding Fathers put in place, so exquisitely designed, has served this nation well, extremely well, for over two centuries. That balance of power was in part, in large part, motivated by the fear of an overreaching executive. The Patriots had just fought King George. They knew what it was like to have an executive who would go too far, and they put in precautions to make sure that didn't happen. Today we are being asked, in a way that we haven't been asked for in decades, maybe even longer, to change that balance of power. And make no mistake about it, it will set an awful precedent for the future, no matter who is president. It will change it. If a president can invoke an emergency because he didn't get his way or she didn't get her way, without real cause, without a real emergency, woe is our republic in many ways, in ways the Founding Fathers feared. Now, I know this is a very difficult vote for my friends on the other side of the aisle, much more difficult than ours. We all know that the President is extremely popular in the Republican Party for maybe a few good reasons. I would say mostly bad, but he is. We know that he has been vindictive, contemptuous, calling out people who oppose him. So it's not an easy vote. I take my hats off to those members on the other side of the aisle who have let principle rise above party, who understand what the Constitution requires this afternoon and have agreed to vote against this emergency. I would plead with those others who haven't made up their minds to look at this moment in history. This is not an immediate moment. You can be for the wall or against the wall. You can think what we're doing at the southern border is inadequate. But that issue pales before the issue before us. And that is how far an executive can reach when Congress does not want to do what that executive wants. It is a crucial moment. This is a moment historians will look back on. This could be a moment that changes the fundamental balance of power in our government. So what I would ask my colleagues, I would really plead with my colleagues. I understand the politics are difficult, much harder for you than for me. But our nation, our Constitution, the beauty of this government demands we rise to the occasion this afternoon. Please join us in rejecting this emergency and keeping our government with the same balance of power that has served us so well for two, two centuries. I yield the floor. Under the previous order, all time has expired. The clerk will read the title. The joint resolution for the third time. The question occurs...
HJ Res 46, joint resolution relating to a national emergency declared by the President on February 15th, 2019. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander. Aye. Ms. Baldwin, Mr. Brasso, Mr. Bennett. Mrs. Blackburn, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt, Mr. Booker, Mr. Bozeman, Mr. Braun, Mr. Brown, Mr. Burr, Ms. Cantwell, Mrs. Capito, Mr. Cardin, Mr. Carper, Mr. Casey, Mr. Cassidy, Ms. Collins, Mr. Coons, Mr. Cornyn, Ms. Cortez Masto, Mr. Cotton, Mr. Kramer, Mr. Crapo, Mr. Cruz, Mr. Danes, Ms. Duckworth, 
Mr. Durbin. Mr. Enzi, Ms. Ernst, Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Fisher, Mr. Gardner, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Ms. Harris, Ms. Hassan, Mr. Hawley, Mr. Heinrich, Ms. Hirono, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hyde-Smith, Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Jones, Mr. Kane, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. King, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Langford, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Manchin, Mr. Markey, Mr. McConnell, Ms. McSally, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Paul, Mr. Purdue, Mr. Peters, Mr. Portman, Mr. Reed, Mr. Risch, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Romney, Ms. Rosen, Mr. Rounds, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Sass, Mr. Schatz, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Scott of Florida, Mr. Scott of South Carolina, Mrs. Shaheen, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Cinema, Ms. Smith, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune, Mr. Tillis, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall, Mr. Van Hollen, Mr. Warner, Ms. Warren, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden, Mr. Young.
Senators voting in the affirmative. Alexander, Baldwin, Bennett, Blunt, Cantwell, Cardin, Collins, Coons, Durbin, Feinstein, Harris, Heinrich, Hirono, Kane, Leahy, Lee, Markey, Murkowski, Murray, Portman, Reed, Romney, Rosen, Rubio, Schatz, Schumer, Shaheen, Cinema, Stabenow, Toomey, Udall, Warner, Warren, White House, Wicker, and Wyden. Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul, aye. Ms. Smith, Ms. Smith, aye. Mr. Peters, Mr. Peters, aye. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, aye. Ms. Hassan, Ms. Hassan, aye. Senators voting in the negative. Barrasso, Blackburn, Bozeman, Burr, Cassidy, Cornyn, Cotton, Kramer, Crapo, Cruz, Danes, Enzi, Fisher, Gardner, Grassley, Hawley, Hoven, Hyde Smith, Inhoff, Isaacson, Johnson, Kennedy, Langford, McConnell, McSally, Purdue, Risch, Rounds, Sass, Scott of Florida, Scott of South Carolina, Sullivan, Thune, Tillis, and Young. Ms. Klobuchar, Ms. Klobuchar, aye. Mr. Tester, Mr. Tester, aye. Mr. Moran, aye. Mr. Moran, aye. Mr. Braun, Mr. Braun, no. 
Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby, no. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, aye. Mr. Carper, Mr. Carper, aye. Mrs. Capito, Mrs. Capito, no. Mr. King, Mr. King, aye. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, aye. Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blumenthal, aye. Mr. Murphy, Mr. Murphy, aye. Mr. Booker, Mr. Booker, aye. Mr. Sanders, Mr. Sanders, aye. Ms. Cortez Masto, Ms. Cortez Masto, aye. Mr. Menendez, Mr. Menendez, aye. Mr. Van Hollen, Mr. Van Hollen, aye. 
Ms. Ernst, Ms. Ernst, no. Mr. Graham, Mr. Graham, no. Mr. Manchin, Mr. Manchin, aye. Ms. Duckworth, Ms. Duckworth, aye. Mr. Roberts, Mr. Roberts, no. Mrs. Gillibrand, Mrs. Gillibrand, aye. Mr. Merkley, Mr. Merkley, aye. 
Are there any senators wishing to change their vote? If not, the yeas are 59, the nays are 41. The joint resolution is passed. Mr. Uh, Mr. President. The Senate be in order. The Majority Leader. I move to proceed to executive session to consider calendar number 20. The questions on the motion to proceed. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. Motion's agreed to. The clerk will report the nomination. Nomination. The Judiciary. Bridget S. Bade of Arizona to the United States Circuit Judge for the Ninth Circuit. I send a cloture motion to the desk. The, the clerk will report the cloture motion. Cloture motion. We, the undersigned senators, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 22 of the Standing Rules of the Senate, do hereby move to bring to a close debate on the nomination of Bridget Bade of Arizona to the United States Circuit Judge for the Ninth Circuit. I ask consent the reading of the names be waived. <clears throat> Without objection. I move to proceed to legislative session. <clears throat> Questions on the motion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is agreed to. I move to proceed to calendar number 27, Senate Joint Resolution 8. The clerk will report. Motion to proceed to calendar number 27, SJ Res 8, joint resolution recognizing the duty of the federal government to create a Green New Deal. I send a cloture motion to the desk. The clerk will report the cloture motion. Cloture motion. We, the undersigned senators, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 22 of the Standing Rules of the Senate, to hereby move to bring to a close debate on the motion to proceed to calendar number 27, SJ Res 8, a joint resolution recognizing the duty of the federal government to create a Green New Deal signed by 17 senators as... I ask consent the reading of the names be waived. Without objection. I withdraw the motion to proceed. The senator has that right. I move to proceed to calendar number 15, H.R. 268. The clerk will report the motion. Motion to proceed to calendar number 15, H.R. 